Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the different types of load acting on the beam. So the first one is the pointed load or the concentrated load. Pointed load or concentrated load. So let's consider this is any simply supported beam of any length L meter and the first one is the pointed or concentrated load and it always acts at one point on the beam. For example, this load with a magnitude of 4 kN or we can say there is a load here acting F2 load acting of 10 kN magnitude. So this load which is a pointed or concentrated load will always act only at one point at some specific distance at the beam. For example from here it is 2 meter and from here up to here it is 4 meter. And also it can be inclined load. But it will always act only at one point. For example at this point or at this point or at this point. It may be F3 type of load with 5 kN. So this is only unit of kilonewton. It means that these loads act only at one point. That's why they are called as pointed load because they are pointed only at one point. Are concentrated load because they are concentrated only at one point. So this is the first point, a uh, first type of the load. The second type of the load acting on the beam is the uniformly distributed load. Or in simply we call UDL which is uniformly distributed load so if I consider this is a beam of any length L so this load is always been distributed over the whole length of the beam or maybe at some point of the beam for example this is another beam and we have only for the half length of the beam this load is distributed so this load is generally represented by W and this will always have the unit of kilonewton per meter. For example, 5 kN per meter is the distributed load acting on this beam. It is called distributed because it is distributed over the certain length of the beam. For example, this is the length of the beam and we say that is 3 kN per meter. So, and we say at this distance, for example, 4 meter, at 4 meter length, this load has been distributed with a magnitude of 3 kN per meter. So this will always be distributed and its unit will always be kN per meter. So this is the second type of the load which is most commonly used in the civil engineering structure design. The third type of the load is the uniformly, uniformly varying load or simply we call UVL, uniformly varying load. In this type of the load, if I consider this is a beam again of length L meter, so this load will always be changed during its whole length. For example, let us consider this is the triangular type of the load acting on the beam. So we do not have any constant load like the uniformly distributed load which was constant, which does not change in magnitude like 5 kN is constant. But here in uniformly varying load, the magnitude would always changing. For example, from here it is 0 kN per meter and at here point we may have 4 kN per meter. So the magnitude always changes over the length of the beam. So this type of the load will be known as the uniformly varying load. Or we can consider another example. This is a beam of length L and this is a trapezoidal load where the load is also changing in magnitude. For example, from here we have 2 kN per meter and here at this point we have 6 kN per meter. So the load always changes over the length of the beam. When load changes, we call such type of the load uniformly varying load. Or for example, this load, this beam, here we have triangular load and then we again have trapezoidal load. So 
our value of the load changes over the length of the beam. For example, from here it is 0 kN per meter. Here we have maximum 2 kN per meter. And let's suppose here we have 1 kN per meter. So over the length of the beam, the value of the load changes. That's why we call it uniformly varying load. And it's always represented in the unit of kN per meter. Hope you understand the main three basic load types mainly acting on the beams. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos.